As you have seen from the previous videos, implementing network security is a process, not an action. It will happen over time. You've now learned about different categories of threats to Ethernet networks and the techniques you can implement to mitigate the risks. At this point, you can now evaluate where you see the greatest threats to your network and plan the appropriate action. So where do you go next in this network security process? As network attacks increase in sophistication, so do the mediation tools and strategies. Robust security must be extended to the field level. Defense in depth involves creating multiple layers of defense throughout a network, typically by using firewalls. Content inspection allows you to permit or deny communication by looking deep into the contents of network traffic. Network access control can provide precise permissions to users. If your organization is subject to regulatory compliance or industry best practices, applications exist to facilitate integrity monitoring and security configuration management. Passive scanning and agentless monitoring offer the greatest visibility into your industrial networks without disrupting live operations. Complete the process with real-time threat monitoring. And remember, you are not alone. Trainers can help you to extend your knowledge and consultants can be with you every step of the security process. That brings us to the end of this video series. I hope you found the information useful. If you are interested in learning more about network security or would like a personal consultation, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.